Pain. Have you gone through pain before? Oh, and sometimes when people are talking about their life and they are telling you their stories, they tell you when God appeared unto them, but they hide when God did not appear. Sometimes when they are talking, they talk to you about the days they ate, but they did not talk to you about the days they slept on empty stomach. Sometimes you can develop proclivities of jealousy and envy because they told you when they had a visitation, but they never told you the many times they prayed and heaven was quiet. But if you want to tell me something about your life, don't just tell me when you met God. Tell me the many years you never met him. Don't tell me that you ate before you sleep. Tell me the many days you never ate before you slept. Tell, don't tell me the days you had all you needed. Tell me the days you were looking for things and it never came. Because it is out of the energy and the capacity you developed in those days that you were able to stand in the days that you got them. Obi dear dance ya. Eya e ma en sempa na o kanen ko a e ma wa komentu. Because before they tell you one good news, they have thousands of bad news. Now, I will not kill myself for your for the one good news you are telling me because I know when my day, my hour and my time comes, all my evil news will also pass away and I will also have a story to tell. Now, if you cannot embrace my prison, you don't qualify to celebrate my palace. Because before Joseph will get to the palace, he must need be in the prison. And it took him many years in the prison and the prison was a place of preparation. But it is so sad that people will talk about the glory of the palace and they forget the pain of the prison. But they don't know that the ability the guy developed to sustain himself and to maintain the glory that came with the palace was determined by the many years he endured pain in the prison. Therefore, don't only tell me of the palace of life. Tell me also of the prisons of life. It was part of the destiny of Jesus one day to come to Cana of Galilee and to turn water into wine. It was part of his destiny to come to a place called Bethesda and to raise a crippled man. It was part of his destiny to come to Nain and to raise up the son of a certain widow. It was part of his destiny to come to Jericho and to cause the blindness of Bartimaeus to depart. It was part of his destiny to come to a place and cause Lazarus to come out of the grave. But it was also part of his destiny to lie in the manger. 